two-day Muthamil Murugan conference in Palani, organized by the Tamil Nadu government, passed 21 resolutions, some of which have sparked controversy for their perceived attempt to saffronize education by DMK allies. CPIM, who have always advocated that governments should stay away from promoting over religious events, the party state secretary says that the principle of secularism requires the state to maintain a clear separation from religion. He stressed that religious harmony and the unity of people should be protected. Meanwhile, VCK General Secretary D. Ravi Kumar has expressed shock over the resolutions. He highlighted specific resolutions that focus on integrating religious elements such as competitions based on Muruga Bhakti literature and spiritual courses in colleges managed by the Hindu Religious Charitable Department. He argued that these resolutions represent an effort to advance the BJP's Dutva agenda, which he believes undermines the constitutional principle of secularism by introducing religion into the educational sector. Crossing over to my colleague Dharani to bring us more on this now. Uh, Dharani, we will go through some of the reactions of this, but let us know about the ripple effect of these resolutions. Well, uh, 21 resolutions uh, I know were passed in the Tamil Murgan conference that was held on Saturday uh, and Sunday. And one of the resolution uh, reads that, you know, it is desired that uh, a competition will be held and prizes will be awarded uh, to students studying in schools and colleges run by the temples under the governance of Hindu religious and endowment department focusing on uh, Murga Bhakti literature. And there is another resolution which reads that uh, it is desired that uh, during, uh, you know, uh, the festive season, the auspicious, uh, you know, Kandasashti Murgan will be, Kandasashti Kavasam of the Adhimur will be recited by the students in temples. And there's the resolution which reads that uh, you know the government may be recommended to establish special spiritual courses in the colleges run by the temples under the governance of HRNC department and uh, you know uh, so these are the three uh, resolutions that have become the center of the controversy now uh, so uh, VCK MP Ravi Kumar has pointed out uh, these resolutions and he has uh, told that uh, spirituality and you know, religion and education should not be mixed uh, the HRNC department should stick to only doing its uh, job and it should not interfere into educational syllabus uh, in, into the educational institutions, into the functioning of uh, educational institutions. The two departments cannot, uh, you know, uh, interfere with each other. Education department and the HRNC department, it cannot intervene with each other. Uh, the departments should do their respective duties is what, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ravi Kumar has told. In, uh, in fact, he is uh, told that uh, uh, this is nothing but an attempt to implement the BJP government's Hindutva agenda of making education uh, secular in the name of Murugan. So he is uh, drawing comparisons between BJP and, uh, you know, the uh, Tamil Nadu HR, HRNC department here, he is uh, telling that how the BJP, uh, you know, is, um, uh, is major, uh, uh, you know, is telling that they're, they're major, uh, uh, they're, you know, doing several things in the name of make, making education secular. Likewise, here also we are uh, seeing that uh, Morgan is being, uh, you know, uh, put into the syllabus, you know, uh, the daily act the activities of uh, uh, the students, college and school students in the name of secular education. All right, Dharani, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us more details on this.